my ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, my name is uh, Christoph de Lago, and as the director of the Erwin Schrödinger Institute for Mathematics and Physics, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to this symposium on concepts of uh, probability in the, in the sciences. Uh, I'd like to extend a particularly warm welcome to the speakers. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. So it's great to see that there is some interest in for, uh, probability. Uh, probability is a, a topic that really touches, that is really central to many disciplines, to mathematics, uh, to the sciences, but also to the social sciences and, uh, and humanities, I, I think. It also touches daily life, right? Uh, just think about planning the next, uh, the next uh, weekend trip, or if you um, consider undergoing a certain medical procedure, or if you choose a means of transportation to get from A to B, you consciously or unconsciously uh, think about uh, probabilities. So since probabilities are since probability is something that really uh, goes across the different disciplines, it's very fitting that this symposium um, uh, happens at the Erwin Schrödinger Institute. As many of you know, the AZ, as we call it, was founded in 1993 in the wake of the fall of the Iron Curtain and collapse of communist governments in uh, Eastern Europe. The idea of the AZ, which was founded as a visitor-oriented institute in mathematical physics, was to, to help scientists from the East and to strengthen uh, relations between the East uh, and the West. Today, 25 years later, uh, the AZ is still going strong. Uh, we have just secured funding for the next three-year uh, period. This is the uh, the regular funding uh, cycle of universities uh, in Austria. Over the years, the scope has widened. Today, uh, uh, the, the scope of the Erwin Schrödinger Institute includes all of mathematics uh, and physics. But the central mission has remained the same. We are still building bridges, bridges between people from different places and uh, between different fields. So we do that by organizing thematic uh, programs, uh, we organize workshops, we have, a, uh, we have several uh, visitor programs and uh, every year about 700 scientists from all over the world visit the Erwin Schrödinger Institute. Now this workshop here is a bit special. It's special because uh, the topic is very general and we have asked the speakers to reflect that also in their talks. It's also special for a second reason, namely, it's organized in collaboration between the Erwin Schrödinger Institute, which is part of the University of Vienna, and the Association Erwin Schrödinger Institute, which is a private society supporting the Erwin Schrödinger Institute, and they have also funded uh, this uh, symposium here. So I'd like to thank the Association uh, Erwin Schrödinger Institute, and I would like to ask Jakob Ingvason, the president, In the name of the, of the Association at the Schrodinger Institute, I also welcome you. Uh, well, it's not, of course, clear uh, to everybody what is uh, the difference. I'm not going to uh, try to explain it. I th think one can just say it in a, very briefly. The Association is the mother of the, of the Institute. And uh, it uh, ran the Institute until 2011, then uh, due to some uh, political decisions in the whole uh, research landscape in Austria. Uh, they decided not to, to fund institutes uh, through, private, uh, to, through private associations like, like the ACES Association, but uh, uh, rather through universities or directly or close them all together. But fortunately, uh, it was uh, possible to save the AC, and as we just heard from Christoph, it's thriving well and has now uh, secure funding for the next three years. So, so uh, uh, the, uh, the association uh, uh, supports uh, the institute in, in, uh, in the way it, it can, and, and one of these uh, uh, ways is to, is to organize on, on special occasions or, or some, some 
uh, activities on topics which are a bit uh, outside maybe of the, of the core uh, uh, program of the institute, and, and this is precisely one, one such uh, activity. Uh, we have been talking about this for a long time, uh, that it would be interesting to collect here experts in probability from different uh, disciplines, because I think many of you have the same experience that I, that uh, I were from the student days, uh, the probability concept was uh, one of the most mysterious and, uh, uh, and interesting concepts, because if you, uh, I mean, we have heard about the uh, probability of the weather, then you cannot talk about probability of the decay of an atomic uh, nucleus, and then uh, well, probability of a mutation in a cell, or, or and, and uh, the meaning of this concept in these uh, different contexts uh, is, uh, is really dicey, and uh, this is also a very interesting history. So uh, uh, we are very happy that we have been able to uh, attract uh, uh, excellent speakers, uh, in, which will shed light on, on various um, on the various aspects of this uh, uh, concept. And I must say for myself that I am very excited about this and look very much forward uh, to uh, to the talks. And I hope it's the same with you. So, uh, without further ado, I I, uh, I pass the word again to Christoph, who is going to be the chair of the first session.